Hey, what's going on everyone? We got a live showdown here today. Showing off Mega Salamance again, actually. I just wanna... I felt like last video I had a pretty bad team made. I, I just wanna redo that, because Mega Salamance is a very powerful Pokemon. And I feel like I didn't get to really show it off, because my team just wasn't all that. So looking at his team, he kinda has an annoying team. A Trapper Pokemon. Could be Mega. I'm pretty sure that this is Mega. Um... Just an annoying Stolly team. So, as far as leads, I could just lead off with the um. I don't want to get one of my stealth rockers. I mean, my stealth rocker trapped in and just killed. So, I could just lead off with the um. Hmm. I'm gonna lead off with Magnezone as he goes with Smurgle and. Actually, what I'm going to do here, I might just pull a double into Pharaoh because, sorry, not a double, just switch out into Ferrothorn in case he has a Spore, which I'm pretty sure is the case. But he doesn't even have any Steel types, so he could just want to set up first and then go for a Dark Void or Spore, so I'm just going to go for the Bolt Switch as he go reveals the Spore. I had a feeling I should have switched out, but it's whatever. Um, from here, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to set up something. Um, I could want to try to set up myself with my Salamance, but it's also kind of risky. And, you know what, I actually don't, s I'm, I'm actually going to try to do that, because I'm predicting the Stuff Rocks, the uh, Sticky Web and all that other nonsense, which is just fine by me. He reveals the Sticky Web, I'm going to go straight for the, um, I could go for the DD or the Substitute. Um... But I don't want that. He, the thing is, he has a prankster Pokemon with burn, so I'm actually going to for the substitute so he can't burn me. And he reveals the stuff rocks, so now I can just DD up. Um, he is setting up for the future, but I also have, you know, I'm also setting up, so I don't really see what he's trying to do here. And he reveals the spike, so he actually wants to just take that gamble and just, you know, he, he's revealed his whole move set, so I'm not afraid of no Destiny Bond or anything like that. I'm already at times 2, may I remind you. I could go at times 3. I don't even know if it's needed, honestly, at this point. Um, I, I'm just gonna kill the thing. Or I could roost. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna go for 3. Uh, I wanna make sure anything at this point is gonna be one-shotted. And he does get every last hazard up, which is, I mean, let's see if he can even do anything at this point. So the Sableye comes out, and it's going to get one-shotted, as I thought. And that should be the whole, this should be game right from the beginning. I, I don't know what on his team is actually going to stop me. I don't think Conqueror could break the sub with the Mach Punch. And he doesn't even go for the Mach Punch, because honestly, I don't think it was going to break. I'm part flying type, 296 defense. And you know, there's just absolutely nothing it can do. This is exactly what I wanted to show. This is the, like the immense power. <laughs> um, but this, I mean, it can just set up. Um, I mean, look at this defense, a special defense. There's like no weak point to this thing other than. Mammal Swine just coming in and just annihilating everything in sight. <laughs> oh, I feel bad, but... Um... There's nothing it can possibly do. So the first game, <laughs> first game is just annihilation. He's gonna pull a double like it matters. <laughs> I mean, he already knows this game. I give him props for not forfeiting, even though he probably should. But um, just gonna keep clicking. You uh, return. That's all I really have to do. This thing is definitely hitting Ubers, no doubt about it. Um, <laughs> I honestly feel so bad, I really do. 
the sash. And that that's the few things that it could um stop me from me getting the sweep, but that's what substitute and roost is for, so I mean this set just focuses on just my team beating my counters, such as Rotomosh sound um sorry. Rotomosh, the slow bro with my uh Magnazone and such, and then I come in, wreck stuff. Alright, so let's find another battle. Um I tweaked my team once again, felt like <laughs> I don't know. I felt like things were missing on my team even even then, so I kinda tweaked it even more by putting um Lando and a Mew. Um, so I got two Intimidate users and, um, Stealth Rocks and another mod. Um, looking at his team, he has a Mega Slowbro, and I'm so glad I strapped the Mew on this team, because Mew, um, is a stall breaker, and, like, pretty much the only thing you can think of that can actually stop this monster Mega Slowbro. And honestly, I don't know, I think Mega Slowbro is worse than Mega Mance, honestly. <laughs> In some senior roles, anyway, but... His lead Pokemon could be Skarmory, it could be, um, oh, I didn't see this here. This could be his Mega as well, and it could just be a regular Slowbro. Um, hmm. I don't know how much I changed on my team, but I think I did have a Latios, and I have a Latios that's Scarfed. That does wonders for this team. So, Latios is going to do a lot this game for me. And I'm going to lead off with the Landorus. You see that as one of my best leads as he goes into the low punny. So I'm pretty sure this is his Mega Pokemon. So it's pretty nice that I got that Intimidate off. I don't want to carry, catch this Ice Punch. So, um... Hmm. I'm just going to go right into Rotom Wash. Because I can now, now that he's Intimidated, I can just eat up whatever he's got. I'm pretty sure he's going to start up with Fake Out, as I thought. Um... You could hide Jump Kick here, but I could just Will O Wisp. I don't know if he wants to take that gamble of getting burned. As I thought, he wouldn't. He goes into Dun Manitan, which is a pretty good play there, so now he won't get burned. And I'm honestly afraid of this thing because it could be Bandit, or I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the U turn here. So I'm going to click Bolt Switch. I'm going to predict the U turn, so it's a nice play on my part. I uh, got a nice, fast player here. It's pretty nice. You know, the turns are going by pretty fast, so it's a good thing. Um, so, Gudra, I could go Salamence here, but I think can carry the Ice, um, sorry, Ice Beam. Um, I think Mew is my best bet here, because I have the Will-O-Wisp and I have the Taunt, and overall I'm a specially defensive variant, so, I'm pretty sure he's going to predict that and go into their mana tank. So I'm just gonna click knock off here. I'm not too, I'm not too afraid of this thing at all. As he goes into the slow bro, which I wish I kinda will with but I get the critical hit. Not too sure if that mattered too much. Uh, I don't know if I wanna get this Mew burned or um toxic. So I might actually switch out here but I don't have too much Pokemon to go into. Um these thing they carry any type of status move honestly T Wave Toxic scout for the burn. So here I'm just gonna go in for Magnezone because if he has actually he actually goes for the yawn, which is very good in my uh, in my part. It's actually very good because I carry the um choice specs bolt switch. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna have to switch out, if not take a really hard hit. And uh, the drowsiness doesn't bother me at all now. Um, as he goes into Gudra, which is a pretty good play. So now I'm gonna go into me once again and to see if he's gonna do the same exact thing. If he goes into a slow bro again, so this time I'm actually gonna go for the Will O Wisp if he wants to do that. Um, actually, starts to lag here. Wow. So yeah, if he actually does the same exact thing, I get the burn off on the slow bro, which is very nice. And if he wants to stay, and that's that's also good. It's, those two mods right there are very bulky, and I need them to be um, taking residual damage for the rest of the game to uh, slow them down. And eventually, I'm just gonna have to get up my rocks. So he actually goes into a Fable, which is really annoying. Now Clefable can't do much to his Stallbreaker Mew, so I'm just going to click Taunt here so you can't get up the uh, Calm Mind. And I predict that well. Honestly, I don't have too much to want to switch into this thing. I don't want to catch a Flamethrower on my Mag Zone. And, um... So... 
I'm just gonna click knock off to see if he wants to stay in and he does want to stay in probably just click moon blast as I knock off the leftovers which isn't bad he goes for the moon blast again and I'm, I'm actually in a really bad position because all, all I can really do is taunt him I, I mean I can stand and, and block him off but I can't really take him out and I don't have a safe switch either um I just need this thing dead. But Fable is actually what my team uh, struggles on. Um, I could click land though, but it's going to take a pretty hard hit. Magnezone just gets beat by Flamethrower. Um, Salamance. Hmm. I'm just going to have to take a hard hit from that Moonblast. Um, he could switch, which, be ni which would be nice, but you know, I don't want to have to stall this whole game out. Because I, I, I don't know, I'm not that type of player. So I go into Lander's T, which probably isn't the best play. Um, but actually, I'm not going to lie, I ate that up pretty good. Um, I could take this opportunity to set up. Actually, I'm going to do that instead. This is kind of risky, I'm not even going to lie. I go for the rocks, as he is going to get set to calm mine up. Uh, I'm not too sure if I even agree with myself there. <laughs> I probably should have just got some damage off. I'm not even going to play around anymore, I'm going to go for some damage as he eats that up and he goes for the flamethrower and I'm actually in a really bad position now because I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the soft boiled here so I'm going to go for a U-turn here and um, I'm going to predict his soft boiled so for that reason Wow, I don't have much to do here honestly Alright, I'm going to go into Latios, make a little bit of a risky play here as he does go for the soft boiled, I'm just gonna go for the um I could just click trick. I'm gonna trick in this Clefable. Uh actually I don't even know if I wanna just side shock away. Cause he could just click Moonblast, but then he scarfed into it and Magnezone could kill. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the trick. If he does take out my Latios, that would be kind of annoying, but for I mean Clefable just beats my whole team straight up as you guys as I explained but now he's um choice scarfed into uh, Moonblast so now I can just click Magnezone go for the flash cannon and for that reason I know he's not gonna stay in so I'm just gonna click Volt Switch I don't think he actually wants to do that so I make a good play there it's kind of unfortunate my last has went down because that's a big part of my team my offensiveness um, but anyway, now that that threat is kind of crippled in a way, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's useless, but it's its crippled. Now I need to save my Magnezone so it can't just freely um, moon blast away on my team. Um, here I'm just going to click Taunt, predicting the uh, Cliff Fable, which I don't know why I just did that, it's kind of silly. Um, he's going to go for the Sludge Bomb, so for the Poison, he does get it, but thanks to my ability, he also gets it. Uh, sorry for the noise in the background. <sighs> Every time I record, I, I get this shit. <laughs> Such bad timing. Um, here I'm just gonna click Will-O-Wisp predicting the switch as he actually stays in. I'm not too worried about what he wants to hit me up with. I know I can sponge it pretty well. Actually, he does a decent amount. Here I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click Roost. I need my help. I want my Mew and some good health. If he wants to try to hurt me here, that's that's okay because I know I'm gonna win the um. He he doesn't have a healing move, so that, that's that's fine with me. If he wants to stay in, I'm gonna go for the roost one more time to get as much health as possible as he goes for the dragon pulse once again. And here I could switch into my um. I could pull a switch. I I don't want him to have a, a free. S I don't want him to um find an opportunity to set something up or something like that. Actually, it doesn't have any set of Pokemon, so what am I saying? <laughs> um, I could go for the Roost again, or I could pre predict the uh, Dragon Pulse. I don't know if that's worth trying to go for the prediction, so I'm just going to go for the Roost again. Um, and I'm, I'm not that type of strong person, as I already mentioned, but you know, it's in my best favor to do so right now. Um, so his Gudra is going to go down, which is a... Yeah, I could say that's a threat to my team. 
So his Armanitan comes in, which is a big threat to my team. I'm just gonna go into Landers here to sponge up that U-turn or Flare Blitz. Um, Intimidate, max defense as he goes for the U-turn as I thought, doing nothing at all. <laughs> so overall, that was a pretty good play because now um, that thing suffered from stealth rock damage. And if he wants to keep clicking U-turn, that's that's fine by me because he's gonna take be taking twenty a quarter of his health every single time. Um, but now the Skarmory is gonna come in, which sponge, he, you know, just eats up all my attacks. So I'm gonna go for the U-turn here. I'm pretty sure he has the Rocky Helmet, which is gonna hurt. And he's gonna set up the rocks, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I could just go for this Rotom here, go for the Volt Switch to do some heavy damage and just have a free switch. But actually, I have the Magnezone, Zone, so I could just wipe this thing out right now. Which is, yeah, I'm gonna do that better. Um, so he is gonna set up his rocks. And since I'm Specs, I'm, I'm positive my Volt Switch Oko is at this range as he goes for the Brave Bird. And I should out. Uh, I should, be, like I said, it should be an Oko. And now I have a free switch into something. And it's kind of annoying that he got his rocks up though. So now my now he doesn't just eat up anything my Landers has to offer except this slow bro. Um. So I'm gonna go into my Rotom Wash here. Um, he's probably gonna go into his Clefable or his, um, Low Punny. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go into his Low Punny or his Clefable. Most likely he's the, um, Low Punny for the Fake Out and just get as much damage as possible on the Rotomosh as I thought he would. Um... I'm just gonna take that Gamble Insane and go for the Will-O-Wisp. He probably is gonna take me out with that High Jump Kick, which is really annoying. But... <sighs> There's not too much I can really do at this point. I don't know if I'm going to win this game, honestly. I'm just going to stand and go for the will o -Wisp. If he wants to switch out, that's fine. The Manitown will take some heavy damage. Clefable is what I'm not okay with. I actually survive, and I am going to get the will o -Wisp off, which is a big play. Um, it's okay if he takes out his ro if he takes down this Rotom now. I mean, I would I would love the thing to survive, but he goes for the power up punch, and now that means I can get a pain split off. That's wow. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing that that just happened because he got a boost up. Then again, he is burned as he forfeits. <laughs> so that was a good game. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of worried there that I lost that one, but I am gonna just hang in there and get the win. And now I'm at 1,322 points. Let's take a look at the ladder right now. So. As far as Oros OU, um, that's what it's you know called for if you want to say it fast. And it's pretty hard to get up here. I'm not even gonna lie, because everything is just broken right now. 1376 is 500. I'm at 1330, so you know I'm getting close to that ladder. So I guess we can get one more game up as we have another Mega Low Punny, which is annoying. We have a Trapper Pokemon. We have some decent leads. Uh, two Pokemon that can possibly have snow frogs up the um, Excadrill and the Heat Ran, most likely the Heat Ran. So, if I beat that Heat Ran and the Rotom, wow, actually, no, not even. He has a lot of steals. I don't think my Salamence is gonna enjoy this team too much, but um, hmm. I see my um. Latio Scarf being a very good lead off right now, actually. As he leads off with the Goth, as I thought. I'm Choice Scarf. I don't think he's gonna expect that I am Scarf. So, for that reason, I'm just gonna go fire off right off the bat with a Draco Meteor as he switches into his Heat Ran. Good play by him. Um, doing 20%, that's gonna do nothing, and now he can get a free Rocks up. So, I'm gonna predict his Stealth Rocks coming in and go into the Landorus so I can, um, just come in for free and try to get my stuff rocks up as well because I um, threatened the heat off with the earthquake. So let's see what he wants to do here. I'm going to start the timer. Uh, it looks like there's lag here. I don't think he's just taking long but there's just lag today. So I'm going to go right into my Landorus as he goes for the Toxic. Wow. 
So he reveals that he is the uh, bulky variant. Um, it is kind of annoying that I got my Landers um, poisoned, but I, at the same time, I get my rocks up and he didn't get his rocks up. And in my opinion, I, I would rather take the Toxic than the Stealth Rock because I have a few Pokemon just don't appreciate Stealth Rocks like my Landorus, my Rotom, my Salamence. But hey, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> so here I have no reason to not click Mew. Um, the Chestnut comes in with the Leech Seed as I thought. Now, it could be very obvious to click the Will-O-Wisp, but I don't want that Heat Ranch to just really come in. And if Heat Ranch wants to come in, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to go for Toxic or Stealth Rock. So for that reason, I'm just going to go for the Taunt. As he does go into the Heat Ranch, as I thought he would, wanting to get the um, Flash Fire from the Will-O-Wisp. He's going to get some Leech Seed health back, which is a little annoying. But, you know, now the, um, the Lava Plume is extremely obvious. Um, I don't have too much to want to bring into this thing. I'm just going to bring in the landers because I'm already poisoned. And, you know, I can't get burned, so why not? So, I, I, I'm not going to take that too well as I thought I would. I could go for the safe earthquake, but I'm kind of poisoned now, and I don't know if I want to take that gamble. So, I'm just going to click U-turn here, predicting his switch. And he actually does switch into his Rotomoss, so good play by me. Get some stealth rock damage, another 18%. So, you know... Lowering this world and wash his health down. Um, here I could just go into my own Rotom or I could just click another Draco Meteor. But I don't know if I want to keep having this Heat Man come in, so... Hmm. It's a tough decision because... I could go into Magnazone here because Magnazone isn't going to do too much for me in this game. And go right for the Volt Switch, predicting the um, predicting the um, Will O Wisp, because Hydro Pump and Volt Switch aren't gonna do much. He can Volt Switch himself, but I'm slower, so I'm gonna Volt Switch after him, which means he comes in with his Pokemon, and then I come in, which means I get to decide what Pokemon I get versus what he wants to bring in. So I have advantage regardless of what happens here. So um, he has the leftovers, which reveals that he's the bulky type, which I want it to be. So I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. If he wants to go for the Willow, that's just fine by me. I just want to weaken this Rotom Wash out. And as I said before, Volt Switch on his part is probably the better thing for him. But since I'm going to Volt Switch, it's actually not. And he switches right into Goth. And that's going to do a lot of damage because I'm Specs. And now I could just go... Um, I'm pretty sure this thing is Scarf. So I could just go into my um, my Latios here and fire off a Psy Shock. I'm probably, yeah. I guess the Psy Shock works. Um, actually, I'm Scarfed. I might as well just pick Draco. Yeah, I'm just going to go right for the safe Draco. Finish this Goth off real quick as he goes right back into his Heat Ran. It's kind of what I wanted to avoid to happen. I want this Heat Ran to come in as least as possible because I didn't want the rocks on my side and I'm pretty sure he's going to go for that now. Or the Toxic. Um, he could do that as well. Which is really annoying. I'm gonna go into Rotom Wash. Probably not the best switch in, but you know, I don't really have a choice. As he goes for the Stealth Rocks, um, I'm actually gonna go for the Hydro Pump here. Because lately I've just been um, U turning and Volt switching out. I honestly think he's gonna over predict here and stay in, go for the Toxic. So I'm just gonna go for the Hydro Pump just to play it safe, try to be unpredictable. So let's see what he wants to do here. So he actually does stay in, I make that play well, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the, the... Actually he goes for the Roar. So he actually did predict my switch, and he brings out my Mega Salamence. And honestly I'm not too sure if I can kill this thing. Now, here he has mind games on me because I'm not too sure if I can Oko with the Stab Return because he resists it. He could go for the Roar, predicting my Dragon Dance. Or he could just go for the Toxic and cripple this thing. So, I'm gonna take the gamble and go for the uh, return. Actually, he switches out into his Rotom Wash to want to tank that hit. So now I can actually make something out of this. He probably should have just stood in. So, what I want him to think now is that I'm a 
you know, a set that has Fire Blast, Earth Quick, and all that, when actually I don't. I'm gonna go right for the substitute here, predicting his Will-O-Wisp, and, um... He actually goes for the Volt Switch. So, very good play by him there, if he wanted to take a hit. Um, I get maybe he was scouting me out, so that was an excellent play by him. That actually, did, that actually broke my substitute, which kind of surprised me, because I'm pretty bulky. Um... But then again, I didn't roost, so I'm not too surprised. Now he knows I have the substitute set, which is kind of annoying. But he's gonna bring his low punny because he has the um, he has the fake out, and he wants to uh, just screw me over here. Um, I'm not too sure what to do here. I really don't have too much to want to take this thing on because I'm pretty sure he has the um, focus blast. I'm just gonna stay and go for the roost as he goes for the fake out and now he outspeeds I think I'm just gonna let this thing go he has so much to just that can just take Salamence I don't think I actually need it this game as he goes for the stab returns I just let my Salamence go down because he has X control he has heat ran he has Rotom wash he has three Pokemon that can just take up hits from my um, Mega Salamence so that's fine by me um, now the low punny is a threat, I need this thing burn ASAP, the heat ran in the background is extremely annoying. But then again, I'd rather bring in my Rotom Wash instead of my Mew because I can get the, I can just fire off the Will-O-Wisp with no fear of the heat ran coming in because I have the Hydro Pump. So if he wants to do that switch, take, take the hits by the Stealth Rocks, my Hydro Pump easily kills the uh, heat ran. So. He is going to go into the Rotomosh and take that burn, which is excellent. So now with the Stealth Rock and burn damage, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to want to stay in and go for the Pain Split or get off a burn himself. So I'm actually going to make... Hmm. I'm actually going to pull off a risky play, go into the... um. Lander is here, in case he wants to pain split, bolt switch, or get the burn. I'm low in damage, I have the toxic. You know, the only good play that will hurt me right now is the hydro pump, and he goes for the pain split as I predicted. So, good play by me there. He gets up very little health, and now I outspeed, so I can just click a uh, stone edger U turn here. And I'm just gonna go for the uh, U turn here to uh, preserve my um, intimidate. <clears throat> Actually, I probably should go right for the kill. I'm gonna go right for the kill. And that doesn't work, so that's really annoying. So I'm gonna go U-turn right into my mag zone, hoping he doesn't paint split. He goes for the will o -Wisp, but I don't agree with that play at all. He could've just paint split it away. Um, and again, he is faster than me, so I really don't agree with my play, if anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna get right back into my landers because now he has speeds, and um, I just want this world to go down. If he wants to paint split, then that's just fine by me. As he goes for the hydro pump, good play. Um, so my landers is gonna go down, but his water wash is gonna go down as well. So that's always a good thing. Now I'm sure he wants to go into his low punny or his goth here. Most likely his um, low punny for the fake out. Annoying, annoying, annoying. I'm gonna go into my. I think going to my Scarf Latios, I hate Ran as a pain in the ass. But then again, after Stealth Rocks, he might go down. No, I'm pretty sure he's gonna live. But I could just click Draco twice if anything, if he wants to switch where it in. So I'm gonna predict the low punny. He can go for the fake out, that's just fine by me. I wanna see if he wants to stay in after the fake out so I can get the kill with the Draco Meteor, because I don't think he knows that I'm Scarfed. And again, that's what I think. I think he's thinking about that right now. So he actually uses Fake Out here, as I thought he would. Now I'm going to stay in for the Draco Media, hoping he stays in. I really hope he does. If not, um, he could go into his Heat Ran, and I believe I kill. So now I don't have to worry about this Heat Ran, just um, having that, him having that free switch into Heat Ran, although at the same time he's the x drill here um, with the Balloon. That's annoying. Um, actually, this is very bad because me was the only person that could take this earthquake. And I don't know how much I'm actually going to take 
And he's gonna go for the safe earthquake, and that's probably game right there because that did way too much. Way too much. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's game. Just kidding. I got that choice scarf, hidden power fire. Um, I don't know if he's gonna predict that. I really hope this is a one hit KO. If not, um, it's basically all over. He does have the balloon, which means he doesn't have choice scarf, which is very good. I know I have speed, so I'm really hoping this hidden power kills. And he actually predicts that. So maybe he was scouting me out. So for sure, he does know I am choice scarf. Because, you know, he's switching out, he knows. So he brings out the low punny, and at this point, I can just sack my uh, Magnazone. I don't need it at this point. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the, Oh, he actually goes for the return, okay. Um, now he's going to miss his high jump kick and lose half his health, which is a pretty good play. <laughs> I wish that was the case. Um, now I have to click... Well, actually, do I have to click? I'm pretty sure Rotom could take a high jump kick. One high jump kick, anyway. After... Uh, at least I hope so, because if I get this burn, it's it's huge. So he's going to switch into his Chestnut, as I thought. So I get a burn off on Chestnut, that's good. Because that thing is a pain in the ass. Um, this thing is a threat. A big threat to my Rotom wash. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go for the pain, pain split here in case he wants to, uh. In case he wants to, um. The thing is, he has leech seeds. Pain in the ass. Is he up? Such a tough play. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the pain split. As he goes for the seeds, as I thought he would. Now I can just click Bolt Switch here. He might. He might just click spiky shields, but at the same time he's got a burn, so he's not benefiting so much from you know getting much help from that. So if he wants to do that, then that's okay. I'm just gonna click full switch here. I really hope he doesn't predict that and go for the uh, leech sheet again, because then he can just spiky shield. So here I can just click side shock as he goes for the drain punch, and I eat that up. So nice play for me. Um. That burn is very useful, so here I, let's see, if I go for the side shock, I pop the extra drill's balloon, which is a very important, um, low pony doesn't want to take it, really the only person that can take it is the extra drill, so he actually stays in and he survives and he's gonna get the seeds off, that's very annoying and very unfortunate, I'm gonna have to switch here because now he's gonna click spiky shield, which is extremely annoying. But I can't do anything about it. I need the Latios to beat both of these mons, which means, you know, I'm pretty sure I already lost, but not you know, it was a good game regardless. Um I'm just gonna go for the stronger move. I'm not gonna go for the world switch, I'm just gonna work for the hydro pump. And I do land and I do kill. So good play on my part. Now the extra is gonna come in and go for the earthquake. And I can do nothing about that. I can't switch out because obviously my Latios dies if I do that. So I'm just gonna go for the Hydro Pump, the up speeds. I actually do survive. I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump and I'm gonna land and kill. Wow, am I gonna get this win? <laughs> wow. I might have gotten this win right here. This is an extremely close battle. Um, I'm just gonna stay in, let this Rotom Wash go down. He goes for the turn. Now, if I land this Draco Meteor, then I basically win. Um, wow, this battle right here is... <laughs> this battle is crazy right now. I am faster with the Scarf, obviously, and this lag is really annoying. Alright, hold on, guys. Never mind. So, I come in with the Latios with 2 HP, gonna go fight off the Draco Meteor, and I do land, and I do get to win with 2%. Very good game. That was an extremely good game. Way good game to end. That was a very good way to end the, 
the video right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, showing the power off of our Choice Scarf Latios. I mean, that brings us back memories. That thing used to be so powerful. And now that we have threats like Mega Salamence back in the game to outspeed him, you got the Choice Scarf Latios. Your Choice Scarf beats the um, many things now. Pretty much all the Megas that are new here. All threats to everybody, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we got more series to come. I use Salamence twice now, so I'll probably use something else next video. So, peace, guys. Oh, and by the way, um, shout outs to Thailand Springfield.